You all right there, Verge? I am, as long as that big, ugly, fat thing is dead for good. He's over there. That's where we're meant to go. So let's take a peek in here real quick. On the money. Is that it? Is that what we came in here for? <laughs> Big ass boss fight. And all we got was a couple of, well, 62 quid. Or books. I apologize, by the way, for going all quiet during boss fights, but I'm not trying to concentrate like well fuck done, on not Birch. dying and not fucking up. And when there's loads of shit going on, I can't fucking... There's just too much at once. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, nope. As long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. Fucking size of that. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. The RSR with the best civilian save to monsters killed ratio. Mm. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse! Before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? It's Arthur Morgan, actually. I know, mate. I know. I'm fucking going there, Dave. Oh, look at the ball. It's always a great idea. To... Enter supercharge mode. Press the two together to enter supercharge mode. Oh. Is it? Oh, yeah, so what do it? Fuck it up.
Is that it? I have enough bucks to buy an upgrade. But it's not 5,000 though, is it? Is that really all they were worried about? It would appear so. You're all getting panicky and fretty about that. Just a bunch of trunk people. I can't think you I don't know, Amelia. It felt kind of right to be out there, working side by side. Oh, you should have seen us. Yeah, it's a boy thing. I get it. You know, one time I wanted to be an actress. But now we're adults. And it's time to grow up and do what we do best. I haven't met too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. Medical arts diploma. Is that it? Is that the only thing in here? Fuck is that thing? I've not seen that thing yet. It looks like a fucking centipede thing. It's got one of those little fray arms. But yeah. Uh... This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh, speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. Oh, look at that it face. Is, sir. <laughs> Amelia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> oh, she's annoyed now. She's got a weird face. I can't work out what's wrong with it, but... Yeah, it's like... very. It's like it's melting. It's very fallen down. I mean, I'm no spring chicken. I don't look the greatest either, I'll, I'll admit, but... I like to think at least my face isn't melted. I could be wrong, but what's this? Likely the reason you like blowing things up, Verge. Daily Mail, 1875. After an infant child of Oriental extraction miraculously survived a mysterious recent disaster in Chinatown, many religious leaders have called for a purging of all blasphemous occult practices brought here from the Far East. Excuse me. Fucking sneezed. You alright, mate? Having a lean down, are you? Been working hard? Heard you got the coils, sir. That's stupendous. We all need those upgrades. Of course, yours is the most important, but with enough coils... Guy's a wizard. He said all that without moving his lips. I think Virgil might be able to build a few more. He's more than he's money. I can't wait to see what that thing can do. 103 bucks. How many do we have now? 4,200. So we're very close to being able to electrify our pistols. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, in here. Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? Calm down, woman. Fucking hell. That's a trunk person's nose. The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech. A bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. Not only that, it isn't like anything <laughs> we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. Smoke and mirrors. In Baxter, Jesse and Virgil encountered another piece of the puzzle. The outpost there has been raided by vampires looking for ancient... The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum. The definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. 
conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. Oh dear, Jesse, you royally fucked her off. <laughs> Investigate McCallum's sawmill. I left my poor little pony on his own. That was a good start. We found 50 bucks. I have a bad feeling about this. Have I heard that before? Ooh, zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. I swear I've heard somebody say that again. Not before in a film or in a game. I have to follow it. The source. That? It's like a giant booger. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tuners. Need to take them out to destroy the illusion. Oh, come on, mate. You can't say tumors. You gotta say boogers, mate. They look like boogers. Alright. There's a fuckload of money around here. This looks like a fight area because of the spiky barrels. Oh great, we got suicide bomber in there, isn't it? <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> oh, fuck it up. All we needed is fucking suicide zombies now as well. Little vampire side. Hey, more of them. Oh, I missed. Bye bye. I don't really want to trust Africa and the suiciders because if they just blow up on me, it's going to hurt me, surely. That's another booger up there. Pretty crystals. Bones, blood, and these ugly critters again. There's one more to go after this by the looks of it. It's getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more. Oh, God. What are you doing? 
I can't get under there. This is the right way, isn't it? No. He doesn't seem to want to go back through there. Oh, I see. Okay, my bad. Oh, yay, more suiciders. Get out, they don't waste time fucking. Up in the ante, do they? Fucking hell. I just didn't give a care, he's just casually strolling towards me. Wow. Oh no, he got me with that. Press the wrong button. There we go. I've made a boo-boo, press the wrong button. Uh, which one of these do we go up to? That looks like the right way to go, so let's go up this way first, because it looks like there's a chest. No walls. How many we got now? Oh, we're so close. We need 70 more bucks. And then we can finally upgrade our revolver. To have electricity in it. An yeah, arc shot or something. Thousands to take possession of this shit hole, but it looks abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Something's fishy here. Bet the answer's hidden behind that glamour. Uh, there it is. Blaster. The electrical augmented version of the Rentier Revolver that deals more damage and can make bullets ricochet between enemies. Thank you very much. Next one is the r the rifle. 25% more power or something like that. Was that the bright perk? Upgrades. What was it? This one here, isn't it? Yeah, rifle damage increased by 20%. That's the next one we want. I hear you waiting, creeps. Look at yourselves, my children. You were sick, weak, and poverty stricken. Dirt poor peasants living simply to survive, bound by pain, clinging to a pointless life. Your only ambition was to pass that suffering onto your young. But now that you have decided to accept my gift, you can leave all that pain and fear behind. I gave meaning to your blood. And blood is everything. Okay, so she's still <laughs> still a creepy fuck. Um 
Where is this one? Oh, there's a chest in there. How do we get to that? Low blow and that. Oh. Yes. Hiding your money from me? Really not looking forward to fighting that little girl, considering how she whooped my ass in the cutscene. Oh, I got flamethrower. Let's check this beauty out. One of the less sophisticated RI weapon that sprays flames at enemies. The hidden wiring uses gauntlet energy to slowly refuel its tank over time. Press left to equip and RT to fire. Mate. Bullets going everywhere. Oh crap, we got stuck in the corner. Kick in the bollocks. Oh. I might have to upgrade this flamer, it's fucking awesome. I guess we're going this way. There you are. Let's check if there's nothing around first. There isn't. That was only that box. Okay, fair enough. See what the big secret is then. I guess that was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Oh, all right, yeah. How do we get down there? Oh, is it wire? Okay. Let's have a look. Jeez, that damn smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. The leech pit. Oh yay, double how. That fills me with fucking joy. Christ is a goddamn blood factory. Oh, it's one of those things again with a cage on him. Cannonball efficiency. Cannonballing regulated to big ones is very effective. Left up to cannonball an enemy. Okay. So many of them. I guess we'll keep up a guy and his mates in doing them, shall we? Oh, look, I jumped over his way there. I must admit, I find it quite amusing that I've been cannonballing enemies into bosses for ages now and they've only just gave me the tutorial to fucking do it. Put me off. Oh fuck, that's 
suicide, eh? Triple attack, hey, that's new. Excuse me. I have to rip the mate's face off. There we go. Revisit the lore section. Infected waste. Oh, that's a new one. That's the suicide, isn't it? A tentacled heads of these mutations are filled with caustic liquids. When in danger, their body temperatures rise until they explode. It's why agents call them tickers or time bombs. The original idea was obscene creation would spread their vampiric infection far and wide, but the compound can't survive the extreme temperatures produced by this terrifying creature. What else we got? Yeah, we've... Oh, that's the... Yeah, that's the big boss we fought last... Not long ago. This is truly despicable creatures created in mass graves where the blood of the end of the many mingle with the soil. Go rows are born blind and for the first few weeks feast on the rotting flesh piled on top of them. As the blood soaks into the soil, the go grow digs deeper in search of sustenance. Once below grain, the grow row go row hides in the darkness, sheltering itself from the sun and unsuspecting eyes of travellers. You'll feel the go row before you see it. Just wait for the tremors. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, we'll just keep trodding along because I missed what it said because I was too busy shooting the last, the last of the enemies. Look at the size of that fucking leech. I see a big chest. Not a living soul. She changed every last one of the workers here. How do we get in there? Don't dangle a big chest in- oh, here we go. It's alright. I'll take it back. Just say, don't you dare dangle a big old chest in front of me and then not let me get it. Hundred and three bucks. A ghost hat. So we got the golden hat. Yeah, that. We're a completely black cowboy now with gold touches. I like it. There's another one up there. Ah, there we go. That's how you do your... Oh, holding it. I see. On demand by holding... Ah, oh, pressing the wrong word. Seek what the leeches feed upon. Ah. Uh, okay. Where do we get that chest, then? Is it a circle back, Robbie? Better be. Scorcher can burn bushes. Oh, crap. Is. I think we circle back at this point, don't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, there he is. Check that in this damn jungle. Thank you very much. A little loot goblin. These things are alive and pumping blood. Got a bad fool by its source. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider leaving a like or a sub. You don't have to, of course. It's entirely up to you. It just helps me out and helps my channel grow. Most of all, though, a big thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.